Hi, I'm Jamie from Jad Productions, and today I'll be talking to you about some famous scientists that made a difference. So, without further ado, let's go. This is Thomas Alva Edison. Be courageous. Whatever setbacks America has encountered, it has always emerged as a stronger and more prosperous nation. Be brave as your fathers before you. Have faith and go forward. Was one of his best quotes. Thomas Edison was an American scientist and inventor who was born on the 11th of February 1847 in Ohio, United States, and passed away on the 18th of October 1931 in West Orange, in New Jersey. At the age of 84, which is now very close to the average life expectancy of Australia today, he specialised in physics and electrical engineering. Thomas Edison made a massive difference in history and even our world today by inventing the phonograph, motion picture camera, and the light bulb. The motion picture camera was the recording and video system they used in the 19th and 20th century for making movies and videos. And it recorded in black and white. As a very, very savvy businessman, he got more than a thousand patents for his amazing inventions. Thomas was also the youngest of his siblings and had a big family of his own, which included, let's see, four sons, two daughters, and was first married to Mary Stitwell until she died in 1884, and then he remarried Mina Miller, and they were together till death. Thomas also had two parents, three brothers, three sisters, and four grandsons. So altogether, that's 19 people, not including his de- dead wife. Also, as well as having some successful inventions, he had some failures, like the talking doll, which was too fragile, and a cement house, which was way too expensive. It was some cost over a hundred thousand dollars. At age 12, Thomas set out to put his education and knowledge to use. He convinced his parents to let him sell newspapers to passengers along the Grand Trunk Railroad line. No, thank you. Using his access to the news events typed in the office station each day, Thomas began publishing his own small newspaper called the Grand Trunk Herald. Thomas used his access to the railroad to do some chemical experiments until a chemical fire. Home, and the car caught fire. He was kicked off the train, and a conductor rushed in and hit hit Thomas on the side of the head, which probably forced some got some of his hearing loss. He also saved a three-year-old from being run over by a train. That was a near tragic event that turned out useful for him. The child's grateful father rewarded him by teaching him how to operate. Operated telegraph. By age 15, he had been educated enough to become a telegraph operator. For the next five years, he travelled throughout the Midwest as a telegrapher and substitutes for those who had gone to civil war. In his spare time, he read, studied, and experimented with telegraph technology and became familiar with electrical science. Unfortunately, unfortunately, he did become deaf at a later age. Before I end this hopefully educational video, I would like to talk about this woman. Oh come on, move it! Thank you. Maria Sklodowska Curry, also known as Marie Curry, was born on November seventh, eighteen sixty-seven, in Warsaw, France, and died in na- July four, nineteen thirty-four, in. Passy, France, at the age, young age of 67. Marie Curie is a French scientist who specialized in physics and made a big difference in history by taking part in the research and discovery of radioactivity, which sadly led to her cancer because radioactivity is not good for you and killed her at a now stated young age. Marie Curie had a big family of her own, which included her partner, two daughters, one grandson, one granddaughter, one great-grandchild. And three sisters. 
So altogether that's 10 people. Murray was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize twice in the same category and the first woman to get a PhD, to have a degree, from a French university and had to study underground as she was not accepted into the male world. Her parents were both teachers and she was the youngest of her siblings. As a small child, Mari took after her father, a math and physics instructor. She had a big and curious mind, blitzed school. When she was only 11, her mother died of a tube disease. For about five years, she worked as a tutor and a governess. She used her spare time to study, reading about physics, chemistry and math. In 1891, Marie finally made her way to Paris, where she joined a course at the University of Paris. She was entitled to her studies, but this dedication had a personal cost. With a tiny bit of money, Murray survived on buttered bread and tea, and her health sometimes suffered because of her unhealthy diet. As I stated, Murray Curry helped discover radioactivity. You might be wondering, what is radioactivity? All atoms are made up of electrons and fly around a central nucleus. A nucleus is a ball made up of particles smaller than atoms. Radioactivity occurs when parts of the nucleus of the atom break away. Radioactivity is most commonly found in uranium. Uranium is an element that is dug up. You can also find a little bit of radioactivity in smoke alarms. It is invisible to the naked eye. You can use a Geiger counter to measure and find radioactivity. Radioactivity is measured in sieverts, and which is the measurement that shows how many radioactivity particles, radioactive particles are emitted. No, you put on photo. Oh.